Guess who's back in the house? It's Samantha here with Samantha Race the Recipe, and I'd like to welcome you all back to the 12 days of Christmas. Cookies, that is. On the 12th day of Christmas, Samantha rated me 12 design and taste, 11 bite size shapes, 10 berry blends, 9 spiced and laced, 8 is a no bake, 7 iced and rich, 6 home cooked tricks, 5 share the cookie recipe. Four so soft and chewy, three for ease of cooking, two she hates all nuts, and a one because I burned the cookies. So today, we are making Guy Fieri's Ginger Snap Stackers. So, before we get into it, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that button below right now. No, 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 right now, click it. You heard me say click it, click it, okay. Make sure that you are liking and sharing the video with your friends and family. If you are a fan of Ginger Snaps, put it down in the comments below and maybe I will make another recipe that's just the cookies. Although, I wonder, would these count, right? Because these are technically a ice cream sandwich type thing. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna take a stick plus four tablespoons of butter and we're gonna just put it in our pan and melt that down. While it's melting down, you just kinda stir, keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn, scorch, do whatever, you know. Go ahead and now we're gonna pour in the molasses and the vanilla and stir that up. And now we're gonna just pour this into another bowl and allow it to come to room temperature. This is something that I think you could do like earlier, but yeah. So, while the um, molasses mixture is cooling down. Let's go ahead and get our flour mixture together. So we're gonna take our flour, baking soda, our spices, which is basically uh, cinnamon, ginger, clove, nutmeg, um, freshly grated, okay? And a little salt. And one cup of our sugar. So now we're gonna sift that all together. And don't forget the baking soda, okay? And now we're gonna chop up our crystallized ginger. It is super, super sticky. My mom loves this stuff. So now we're gonna pour the ginger into the flour and kind of just coat it inside of that flour mixture. And we're gonna take our molasses and pour it into our flour. And now we're just gonna fold it in a little bit. It's gonna take a little while, but you'll see it coming together. Yep, coming together, coming together. Perfect. So we're gonna put this into a plastic, um, into some saran wrap, pop that into the refrigerator for about 25 minutes so that it can solidify and set up a little bit. And while that's happening, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375. Cool. So now our um, ginger snap dough is ready. We're gonna pull that out and we're gonna take the remaining quarter cup of our sugar, put that in a bowl, we have a seal pad lined baking sheet, and we're gonna take about two tablespoons of the ginger snap dough. We're gonna roll it in our hands. That's right, just roll it, make a little ball, make a little ball. Now you're gonna swirl it around in the sugar, and we're gonna put it on our baking tray. And he said to put six on a tray at a time, so I'm assuming that these are gonna spread. Right, so boom, boom, boom. Now, we have our Bluebell homemade vanilla ice cream. We're gonna just slice this up in some chunks and sandwich it between our ginger snaps. Oh no, the snaps are a little hot. That's all right. A little melted uh, ice cream ain't never hurt nobody. My sister was like, stop talking like this. You look like a T-Rex but I can't help it. I don't know what to do with my hands, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to taste it. <sighs> Let me tell you one thing before I taste this. Molasses smell like piss, okay? Before you cook it, like when you measuring it out, stink, understand that. I was like, ooh, honey, these are gonna taste earthy. But while they were baking, the ginger snap part, that is, Yum. They have my house smelling like, oh, tidings of the cheer. That's how it smells. I'm gonna taste it. I'm doing it now. It's doing it. Okay. Oh, oh, the ice cream is soft. Oh, Lord. 
But that ginger snap is <laughs> not snap. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> First of all, not uh <laughs> These jokes almost broke my teeth. I'm hollering. These jokes almost broke my teeth. <laughs> That's funny because they were so soft. They're soft in the middle. Child. Look, I got to scoop this ice cream, okay? <laughs> it's a mess. I got, they got me out here eating like I'm two years old. No. They're not bad, but I don't like it. All right. Here's the thing. I'm gonna have to have like a separate rating scale, like a Samantha scale and a normal people taste bud scale. So on the Samantha scale, I would give these a two and a half. I can tell in my brain that these are good, right? People who like ginger snaps and gingerbread and gingery things gonna love these. I'm not those people, so no. If I were those people, this would be a five. I know for sure these taste like they're supposed to taste. However, these, these mofos, <laughs> they got hard to like a rock. That's what they turned into. <laughs> okay, and I should have let them cool down a little bit more before I sandwiched them, but child, I know you guys will like these. I don't like these, but that's, you know, what did we say when I first started the channel? I got toddler taste buds, honey. Chicken fingers and such. So I was trying to like savor the flavor and see if I gonna like it a little bit more. I don't, it's weird. Let me let me just say this again. I can tell that these are good, but I don't like these. I don't know what that means. Somebody leave in the comments below, what does that mean? You like, you know something tastes good, but you don't like it. That's how I feel about these. I, mm -mm. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. But for you, you, Guy Fieri was right about these. These are a five out of five for the taste. It doesn't matter that I don't like them, okay? However, um, oh, the time and the effort. These didn't take a long time, so I actually give these a five too. They were not hard to make. It just takes a little while, you know, to do the steps and let it cool and let it chill and let it sit and blah, 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 blah. So, but once you get it, all the separate components in the right stage of their preparedness, then it's nothing to put it together. It comes together very quickly once you do the little molasses situation um, on the stove. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, first of all, you played yourself, but it's not too late for you. There is still hope for you. Click the button down below. Do it now. Now, you did it? Did you do it? Perfect. Now, like the video, share the video, and I'll catch y'all next time.